5H, and that's where you find Watson Pharmaceuticals at the New York Stock Exchange. The stock sharply lowered today, despite posting higher than expected first quarter profit and revenue. The company's net income rising 22% to $55 million. That was due in large part to strong growth from its generic drugs. Watson's generic version of Pfizer's blockbuster cholesterol drug Lipitor helped revenue jump 74%. As a result, the company raised the low end of its full-year earnings guidance, as well as its full-year revenue forecast. Now, despite the earnings beat, shares are lower. Large well, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jay Heller with the NASDAQ OMX Group. It is my great pleasure to welcome Born for Broadway and its executive producer and founder, Sarah Galley. I'd also like to extend a warm welcome to the members from the Dana and Christopher Reeve Foundation, as well as all our other distinguished guests to NASDAQ. We're excited that you could all join us right here from the crossroads of the world in Times Square, New York, as we get set to ring the NASDAQ closing bell. Now, I know there's a lot to be thankful for, so how about a round of applause to kick things off this afternoon? Now, Born for Broadway was created nine years ago as a student-sponsored cabaret at Marymount Manhattan College, where Sarah Galley was enrolled as a performance major. Sarah created the show as a way to give back to her brother Jeff, who suffered a spinal cord injury in 1998 in a driving accident. He became a quadriplegic with a very similar injury to that of Christopher Reed. Born for Broadway spotlights the passion of the theater community with fundraising for a cause. Now, the evening benefits the Christopher and Dana Ree Foundation, which is dedicated to curing spinal cord injury by funding innovative research and improving the quality of life for people living with paralysis through grants, information, and advocacy. The Christopher and Dana Ree Foundation has announced the cast for its third annual Born for Broadway benefit, which will take place at the American Airlines Theater, 227 West 42nd Street, on Monday, May 21st, 2012, at 8 p.m. Sarah, I'd like to thank you for all that you do and wish you success with your upcoming event. Now, everybody, please give me a loud round of applause for the executive producer and founder, Sarah Galley, to come to the podium to give a few more comments. On behalf of Born for Broadway and the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation, it is a pleasure to be here today. May 21st has been proclaimed Born for Broadway Day in the city of New York, and we're honored to be recognized. Born for Broadway is an annual celebrity musical review featuring Broadway stars donating their time and talent. The show began nearly 10 years ago in college as a way to showcase the passion of the theater community with raising funds for a cause so close to my heart medical research, and quality of care programs for those with paralysis. My brother Jeff is a quadriplegic, and the event continues to thrive, honoring him and the 5.6 million Americans with paralysis. This year's annual benefit will be May 21st at the American Airlines Theater in New York City, the first time Born for Broadway will be held in an actual Broadway house. I'm joined here today by members of Team BFB and the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation. We thank you for allowing us to be part of such a special experience. To learn more about us, please visit bornforbroadway.com.
Los Angeles.